Welcome to a lesson on finite and infinite sets. Suppose that you make a list of items that you want to buy at the grocery store. Your list consists of the following items. Bread, milk, eggs, apples, toothpaste, and soap. These items can be listed as a set in the following way by listing the items in a set of braces. A set is a collection of objects. Each member of a set is called an element of the set. Elements of a set can consist of numbers, letters, words, shapes, and etc. We use braces to indicate a set, and we write all elements of the set inside the braces. Number one, how many elements are in the set of items that you want to buy at the grocery store? We can easily count the number of elements in the set. We have one, two, three, four, five, six elements in the set. Since we can determine the exact number of elements, this set is an example of a finite set. A finite set is a set that has a finite number of elements, meaning we can determine the exact number of elements in the set. The number of elements in a finite set can be expressed as a positive integer or zero. For number two, now suppose we want to list all the possible real numbers that exist in set form. Remember, real numbers are numbers that appear on the number line. All real numbers are rational or irrational. Do you see a problem with doing this? If so, explain in a sentence. We do have a problem because there is an infinite number of real numbers on the number line, and therefore we cannot list all the real numbers in set form. In this case, we could be writing as many real numbers as we could think of, but we would never be able to write all possible real numbers that exist. There is an infinite number of real numbers. Therefore, you could not determine the exact number of elements that belong to this set of all possible real numbers. This set is an example of an infinite set. An infinite set is a set that does not have a finite number of elements. So if we cannot determine the exact number of elements in a set, the set is an infinite set. Number three, what is another example of an infinite set? Because there are an infinite number of points on the coordinate plane, the set of points on the coordinate plane is an infinite set. Another example of an infinite set would be the set of counting numbers. The set of counting numbers is an infinite set, once again, because we cannot determine the exact number of elements in the set of counting numbers. Counting numbers are one, two, three, four, five, and so on. If we place these elements in braces, we now have this set of counting numbers, which again is an infinite set. Now for the next exercise, we will determine whether the following sets are finite or infinite. So for A, notice how we have dot, 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 negative three, comma, negative two, comma, and so on. And to the far right, we have three, comma, dot, dot, dot. This means the list continues indefinitely to the right and to the left, or in the positive direction, as well as the negative direction. Because we cannot determine the exact number of elements in this set, this is an example of an infinite set. And this is the set of integers. Now if we compare this to B, notice how there's no dot, dot, dot to the left or the right, which means in this case, we have a finite number of elements in the set. This is a finite set. Again, this is a finite set because we can determine the exact number of elements in the set. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elements in this set. This is a finite set. C, we have the set of decimals between zero and one, because there are an infinite number of place values, there's an infinite number of decimals between zero and one, meaning we cannot determine the exact number of decimals between zero and one because they go on forever. The set of decimals between zero and one is an infinite set. Next, we have the set of multiples of two between one and 40, which would be two comma four comma six comma eight and so on all the way out to 40. 
there are exactly 20 multiples of two between one and 40. Because we know the exact number of elements in this set, this is an example of a finite set. E, the set of all people in the United States. While it would take some research and be very difficult to determine, it is possible to determine the exact number of people in the US and therefore this is an example of a finite set. F, we have the set of cities in the state of Arizona, similar to E, with some research, we could determine the exact number of cities in the state of Arizona. This is an example of a finite set. Again, to be an infinite set, we are not able to determine the exact number of elements in the set. G, we have the set of math classes offered at a Maricopa County College. Because there's only a specific number of math classes offered at any college, this is an example of a finite set. Finally, for H, we have the set of fractions between zero and one. Because there is an infinite number of fractions between zero and one, or because we cannot determine the exact number of fractions between zero and one, this set is an infinite set. I hope you found this helpful.